Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I have Brittany here with me. <laughs> Did you just <laughs> stick your <laughs> tongue out at them? <laughs> Yes, I feel like that was a very proper way to introduce myself. That's right. <laughs> um, so Brittany is here to be serious, to accomplish her very first miniature, which is going to be a harpy. And she did not know what a harpy was when we started. She just picked it out. And I said, do you know what a harpy is? But she did not know what a harpy was. No, I thought it looked really cool. And so then I seen it. And then I was like, whoa, this is not what I thought it was. I thought it was just a normal bird. <laughs> and then you looked closer <laughs> and we're so surprised. <laughs> yeah. I had to keep it. The surprise just, just makes the best thing. Can't go back on a surprise. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> the very first thing that we uh, had to do was, was prime the miniature. <laughs> and Brittany gave it her go. So we primed it with um, Pure Red by the Army Painter and Brittany attempted to give it a prime and then we realized that she's going to need more practice priming. Let's just say her sister is not as good looking. <laughs> if you do, haven't used a spray can on a miniature before, find someone who is familiar with spraying and get them to do it for you. Or practice lots on unimportant things. Basically, you want the miniature to be wet looking, but not dripping wet. <laughs> I will know for next time. Now that she's dried, this is what this miniature looks like. Pretty cool. Um, she came from Mantic Games, actually. This is Mantic Games Dungeons and Dragons miniature. I opened her up on another video, so I guess I'll link that video to show you what set she came from. And while Brittany is painting her first miniature, I'm going to be painting this, just dry brushing probably, just dry brushing this uh, cool piece of terrain. All right, so we've got, we've got our pieces of cardboard because we're going to be dry brushing. Okay, and now what colors did you choose for your miniature? I picked the Evil Sun Scarlet. The Troll Slayer Orange and the Flesh Gets Yellow. And for the rocks, we're probably going to go with Eshen Green, Eshen Gray, <laughs> or, or Mechanicus Standard Gray. Uh, mm, middle range Mechanicus Standard Gray. And then I couldn't decide. I think I'm going to go with Gray Seer as the lightest part. Or maybe Face Wolves Gray. I'm kind of going to figure it out. And Parasite Brown, and maybe Basilisk Brown as a mix, and Lemon Yellow for my flowers, and Cold White to mix in with the Lemon Yellow for my flowers, and a Gloss Medium. Ah! Right on the stabby, stabby um, thorn sticking out. And I think I'm also going to need some greens, but I'm going to grab those later. Alright, so the very first thing to do is grab your dry brush. Since you have a small miniature, we're going to choose this uh, moderate dry brush. Okay, and I'm going to choose the mighty dry brush because I have a bigger miniature to dry brush. Uh, you just got a palette. Can we say that? Probably not. Uh, I feel like they would be really particular about it. Probably because I'm using the same tone. Gosh darn it. Mm -hmm. I know. The only thing that we can see Thing, um, is mostly Christmas songs, really. I don't know which ones. The old ones, like the really old ones. Bum, bum. We have now found paint trays. We can start our painting. Bum, 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 there we go. Bum, ba, da, dum. They can't get mad at us now. <laughs> ha, ha. All right. So I guess the first thing you want to do is put on your orange. Do I need to shake this? Uh, yep. You have to shake every paint. Every paint in existence should be shaken before use. Tip number one. We are going to get a paintbrush just for taking out paint. That should be plenty. 
Yeah. You don't actually need very much because dry brushing doesn't use a lot for such a small miniature. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to start with the this trunk? this one, the trunk. Yeah, I think that would be the. I would thing. still assume that would be called a trunk if it's trying to be a tree. Mm hmm. And hmm, I'll be fine. All right, mighty brush. So I'm gonna take my little mighty brush and grab the barest hint of it. Right. Then I'm gonna wipe it out in my... Like that? Yep. I don't think I got enough. No, nope, you got enough. Okay. See, I'll show you before you start. You see what that color is? You see what this color is? Dun, dun, dun. It goes up in layers, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't need to get all the edits. Uh, you just need to uh, grab the edges and that's what you're gonna try and do. Now, remember that, oh, I guess yours is fire, but yeah, just think about where you want the light to look like it's hitting from when you're doing your dry brushing, because this is supposed to be the, the highlight of that red. Okay. And then when it seems like you're not actually putting any paint onto the miniature, you just grab some more and do repeat the process. These guys, I'm basically missing the branches uh, underneath because in shadow is where of the darker one, darker color you would see anyway. You wouldn't see light hitting off something that doesn't actually have any light hitting off of it. That's true. I fell on my lap. Move to self, don't leave it on cardboard. It rolls. What do you think? I think you're ready to go on to the next color, which I think should be um, the, the orange is quite similar to the red, but the yellow is going to be quite different. So since it's going to be like fiery, right? Mm -hmm. You may want to mix the yellow with the orange to go next. Okay. We'll start by shaking. Do my shake dance. Shake dance. Shake dance. And I'm ready to add my next color, which is I think going to be basilisk brown. Go to the shake dance. <laughs> Okay, I need the paintbrush. Yep, it's over here. Please, and thank you. Thank you. Hmm. You can also tell how opaque something is um, as you're applying it to this clear palette, because if you can see what's underneath it, well then it can't be that transparent. I mean, that can't be that opaque. Thankfully, you're combining it with something that is opaque. Um, hmm. That's one thing about painting, um, creating mixes, is that the, the mix that you make will always be slightly duller than the two colors that you started with. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like that color, we can find a color in between those two that you would like. Do you think I should put this color on before I put the yellow? Yeah, give it a shot. Okay. Like the down. yellow is hand this back to you to put into its pot. The yellow is going to um, go be applied on this because it's all it's all going to be catching the edges. The yellow will probably be catching the same thing that those oranges are. You can control it really well with the airbrush, airbrush with the <laughs> dry brush. You got airbrush on the brain. I do. So I don't have to rinse this brush. Nope. You don't really want it to rinse because you're going to get it mixed. Um, it's going to naturally mix with the other, with the the one that's already on it, to make a more fluid combined look. Okay. And you can always add more yellow if uh, you s see that there's not much difference, like you can't tell the difference. Bum, 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 bum. I will always ask you if you could tell the difference because you would probably be able to tell the difference before I could. Ah, but you're mini. You get to decide. I don't know whether this is the right color or not. We're gonna find out. 
you. I'm also um, a little adventurous when I go, we're just going to find out if this is the right color. Yeah, sure. It's the right color. Worst case scenario, you can cover it up. Yep. This is alien tree anyway. We're fine. Yeah. You don't need it to be a perfectly normal tree. I mean, it doesn't really look perfectly normal. <laughs> I don't know a tree that can grow signs. Now, now, it's clearly an overgrown uh, sign that was there prior to the tree, and the tree just grew over it. I think I like my idea better. That sounded a lot cooler, having a tree that can grow signs. Do you know how rich these people would be if they owned these trees? Hmm. Which would, which would be more expensive? Maintaining a tree that could grow signs, or just making the signs like yourself? Probably maintaining the tree, <laughs> but the fact that it can grow signs will put it up for a lot of money. So people could like find a way to like take the seeds of it and keep them growing and then sell them. They'd be rich for a while until everyone has one. Except for this tree probably feeds on its farmers. It probably, yeah, you probably need a special person to do that. Probably wouldn't feed on Necrons. Maybe Necrons they would need are. To, they would need the to hire farmers. Necrons to, hire, to do oh, it. Dangerous thing, hiring Necrons. On the other hand, there are, there are robots. Hmm, or mechs. So who knows, maybe they have a good deal set up. Space Marines could possibly have this as part of their training. It's not actually farming. It, it's actually um, training for space marines. If you survive the tree, then you may be ready to become a space <laughs> If you survive the tree, then maybe, just maybe, we'll let you move on. But if you don't survive the tree, well, I mean, obviously you can't move on. Only if you survive the tree. I think if that was part of the training that I would have to do, I'd probably just not go. Like, no. Like, this is not my type of thing. I almost died just in training, let alone out there, that I have to fight these things. So I guess you probably won't be a space marine. <laughs> oh, probably not. No, not if I gotta fight trees that kill me. I'd rather be the people that, you know, the trees won't kill. So the Necron then? Probably. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the evil to get you to hire Necrons. How are you doing? Oh, I'm liking how the wings are starting to look. What do you think? I think so, too. I think I should probably add a bit more on the top, though. Mm -hmm. The top doesn't look like it has anything yet. No, the top looks like it's hiding the magic powers of this woman. I told her she was be prettier than her sister. Hmm. I am going to... I need to brush again. I need to mix a little more yellow and orange. Thank you. I'm going to put out my ashen gray. Now, in this case, I'm going to try and cover most everything um, here because I don't actually want the brown to really show other than like age. So this ashen gray should cover everything when I'm done for the most part. And if it's the right color for your rocks, then you'll have it here too. Sorry, people that just missed what I was doing. I forgot about you. I think I'll move it slightly closer in your direction. There we go. I'm gonna need more than that. Bum, 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 bum. Can I do that? Mm. Okay. I think you could absolutely make up your own. I don't know. I, for some reason, I felt like that. I heard that somewhere. Huh. Maybe I made it up in my sleep one day and I just. I don't know. Mm. Do, 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 do. 
Bum, 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 bum. That was definitely one of the songs that you could do. Hmm. How's it looking? It's looking like she has orange on her for sure. Are you off screen again? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's good. I just gotta do this side a little bit more. To match. She gonna be so pretty. Pretty angry. So pretty angry. I would be angry too if I was in her situation. So here, I'm actually just pushing it right on in. Because I don't, uh, I'm pretty well just you not really using it as a dry brush and more <laughs> using it as a way to get it on quickly. But also dry brush. It's a multitask tool. I just want to keep going in strokes. I act like I know what I'm doing by saying that I'm going to keep going in strokes. Just to feel on your level. Come over here again. Join us. Join us. Do you have cookies? Just like the dark side? Um, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't I don't have them yet, but I could make them. Well, then of course I shall join you if you have cookies. I make a fantastic chocolate drop cookie. Oh, oh my goodness, we're out of cocoa. I need to get cocoa. Oh. So next time, next time, chocolate drop cookies. You guys hear to her. She has promised me cookies. <laughs> if she does not give me cookies, get mad at her. They taste like little tiny brownies, Hoo -hoo. but in cookie form. Ooh, mm. I love brownies, especially with a scoop of ice cream. Yes, they taste good with ice cream too. I feel, okay, I don't know if there's any, but I think there's more orange underneath this wing than there is underneath that wing. It's all right, it's fire. I guess so. It doesn't have to be uniform. That's true. And it's a bird, so it also doesn't have to be uniform. I feel bad that she does not have any th th thumbs. I mean, it's alright, she can fly. That's true. <laughs> and she could use her feet to help her peel bananas. To be <laughs> fair. I don't know how well that would work, but at least she can get the peel off slightly. Okay. I imagine, you know, with sentience, you should be able to figure it out. Crows. Could definitely open bananas if they wanted to. I mean, they can use little tools. They have hands? Crows. Crows use their mouths to rearrange little tools and pluck. Um, For some reason, I never thought about their mouths. Grubs and other foods out of jars with using little tools. I never ever thought about that. They create their own tools. They're some nifty birds. Yeah, they're really smart. Yeah. They're smarter than me. Uh, I need to brush again. Yep, I just want to make sure that I, yeah, I, I cleaned it out. That wasn't terrible. You did not forget. Um, let's we'll see what that's like. I shall I'm remember gonna go to on. join your side. Oh, this one I actually put a ball in here. A ball? Yeah, a mixing oh, ball. Some of those little metal balls are. Yeah, that's what they are. Yep, that one right there. So we're mixing your paint much easier, much faster, and I should have it in every single one, but I do not. It's I terrible. don't think you have it in this yellow. Nope. Nope. Yellow you know, is ballas. Here's the brush again. Thank you. Oh, shoot. I nearly... Oh, sugar. ...failed my own ru rule and put the dry brush in there, and I would have regretted it. Oh. oh, that would not have been nice. <laughs> I've done it once before, and of course it was on camera, and then I put my, the dry brush in to take out um, paint, and I was like, oh no, what have, I, what have I done? What sacrilege have I done? It's still coming out a bit orange. This might be too close to the other color. But... The yellow, so this one, and... Hey, where'd you go? I can't see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, people. Um, I don't know whether the might work out, but I think we're going to need another yellow that's um, more opaque. Yeah. Or we're going to mix in a white that um, can go over this one. Yeah, I'm only doing the yellows on the ends, not really in the middle, because it doesn't really need to be in the middle. 
I think it should only be on the end where it is fire. Hmm. This Mechanicus Standard Gray is great for covering. You should use it on your rocks when you get to it. But I'm actually okay with the, the brown coming through on this rock. You know, this is ancient. It's alright if it's got lots of dirt stuck in it. I'm sure a nice penguin would like the rock. I don't know if there's penguins in this world or not. Um, Everyone's about to find out now that I'm a noob to this world. Well, that world is Dungeons and Dragons, so there would totally be penguins. Well, good. And this world is Warhammer, and the penguins have probably all died off. Well, then that sucks because the penguin can't enjoy your nice little rock to give to their mate. Penguins are weird. They find a rock, they give it to somebody, and then that's their partner for life. Just because of a rock. Wow. Can you imagine that that's how we were, like, together? Your partner well, just comes up and like, I found this rock. I thought it was nice looking. Here you go. And then you're like, thank you. And then you guys stay together forever because of the rock. Ironic you say that because I hear that some guys get down on one knee and present a <laughs> female with a very shiny rock. That's true. That technically is a rock, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> But they don't necessarily stay together for life. Like yeah, but they're do. supposed to. <laughs> they are supposed to. That is true. That is very, very true. Mm, guess you have to be a penguin. I guess it only really works in the penguin world. Mm -hmm. And the penguins, I don't even know where to keep it to. Do they just like keep it underneath their feathers? I need to find a geologist. <laughs> <laughs> we have to Google. So where? Do guys answer the question? Where, where do the penguins <laughs> keep their rock? <laughs> where does the penguins keep the rock? If anyone knows anything about this, tell me. I'm honestly very, very interested in that. That had nothing to do with anything that we are doing, but <laughs> you're welcome for that lovely thought process. I wonder how many people are now really gonna have to know. Where do the penguins keep their rocks? I know once we're done this, I'm looking it up. I need to know. I know, I gotta know too. <laughs> what do you think? Let's have it. Let's show them up close how's it coming with her dry brushing. It definitely needs a better yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going mm -hmm. off the table. You're mm -hmm. too loud. I think it's coming out great. I think it's starting to look fiery like. Mm hmm and you're right, we're gonna need a yellow. So, um, that yellow is, like, really nice, but why don't you try this yellow? This yellow might... Shake it. <laughs> this yellow might work. Shake, 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 since it's gonna be mixed shake, in with shake, the yellow, shake, shake. uh, the, since you it's going to be mixed in with your orange a bit. Shake, 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 And then I'm gonna be testing out... I oh, know, that's not where I'm going with that. Okay. I'm gonna be testing out this white as well, so I can test it out with your yellows and see if it's... Yellows are always troublesome. Finding one that is opaque. So should I try this yellow by itself first? Um, or should I mix it with the other yellow? I don't think there's any need to mix it with the other yellow because you've got so much orange on your brush. Very true. Very much orange. But I guess we're gonna find out. It's not coming off no more. Yep, but uh, the yellow is going to hydrate it a bit. And then we're going to see what comes out on the pad before you actually apply it. There we go. That's more yellow. That's what came out last time. Mm. So this shall work. Okay. Back to, back to the business. Um... Here. Oh, I have ball in this one too. Ooh, it's special. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. That was great. <laughs> should I edit that out or should no, I you have live to with that. that forever? <laughs> you have to keep that in. I will be disappointed if you have that edited out. <laughs> oh no, my life is over. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that was great. That is <laughs> tip number two. Hold on to your paint when you're shaking it. Oh.
oh, our face is both like, oh, no. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Yes, we don't want. Good thing we don't have anyone else around us. Um, if you ever do this around other people, make sure you yell four. Like if you're in four, it seems to work very well for golf balls. So maybe it'll work very well for paints. Oh my gosh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Got too confident in myself. <laughs> Maybe I should stick with the shaken. My shaken dance doesn't ever do that. You know what? Of course, the very first time I let go of a paint, when when <laughs> shaking it, it's on camera. It's all. That was great. You just <laughs> that's that's all my experience of this has gone out the window. That's it. I'm taking tips from you. <laughs> I know, right? Oh my should, gosh. should I still listen to you? I don't know. Anymore. That's why I'm thinking I should just edit it. <laughs> I don't think so. No, they, they deserve to see that. You will be deprived of of great, great laughter if you edit that out. <laughs> my great shame. <laughs> I'm 2020. <laughs> How's your 2020 going? Oh, I just threw a bottle of paint. That's okay. <laughs> On camera for everyone to see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's Whew. I, I couldn't be alone, right? <laughs> I had to fight someone over. <laughs> oh yeah, I will forever know. And when I go to watch this video and that's not in there, <laughs> you will be getting a message. <laughs> and I shall put in the comments, by the way, she threw a paint <laughs> bottle. She just didn't want anyone to know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will expose you whether you put it in or not. I believe you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> now watch it. I do the same thing. Oh. Nope, because that's not happened. <laughs> Even when I was brand new to painting, I never threw the ball out. So that is like a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> Throws the ball. <laughs> so we got your first time painting a miniature and my first time throwing the ball. <laughs> there will be lots of mistakes in this video and oh everyone gosh. will enjoy it. Oh my gosh. Whew. And, and you see what I'm doing. Tears in my eyes. In a few years' time, when we look back on this, we're going to know. I'm going to wish that I did. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still going to sit there and laugh. I'm like, no, this is the best part. <laughs> All right, so now, oh. now I'm actually um, doing the, the lighter gray at an angle. So, because it's um, the light hitting off of it now. Oh. <laughs> After she tossed it away. I realized that I actually did need it. Are you sure? I think you are second guessing yourself there. That's my subconscious going, what are you talking about? You need this one, not that one. Yeah, that's the wrong color, ma'am. Oh yeah? Where's your miniature? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, people. I'm depriving you of my work. That's okay. Okay, what do you think of this yellow? Do you think I should add a bit more orange now? I'm kind of liking it. I mean, I'm, I'm not seeing... It is like fiery, but also real, like real feathers. Kinda. Yeah. Is that what you were going for? Yeah, I was trying to add the yellow to the tip. I'm going to put a bit more orange on this one for sure, because the yellow kind of over, overwhelmed, overwhelmed it. it compared to like that. So I'll probably just add a bit more. It's, it's a great model for all those little details. Yeah, because I was trying to keep it more like towards the ends of each feather. I think you're before you add anything more, because you still have uh, this level to do, oh, yeah. I think you might want to do this level so that you can um, have this color to compare it to up here. Because right now you've got a red and you might not be seeing it. That's true. That's the, very true. The way it would be. Where so, is your craze? My grays, well, I've got one gray that I'm not using anymore right there. That's the dark gray. However, in this case, because it's so small um, and you've got red and you don't want any red left, you're going to want to go into layering for that first layer and then you come back with the lighter ones. Okay, so go darker first? Yeah, but you don't want to use a dry brush for that. Or you don't want to use the same dry brush anyway. There's a small... Because you're going to want to cover up that red entirely, so that's not going to be a dry brush thing. That's going to be... 
a layering thing. Ooh, fancy brush. Um, we'll use one I've used so often that it's taken off of it. Character. Yeah, we're gonna use a character brush. So this one is actually going to be wet, damp. Okay, and if you've never taken it off before, I'm gonna do that right now. Still in your cream. Yep, Still just make cream. certain that you you don't, you want the bottom half of the paintbrush to be, have paint on it. You don't want any of the top half of the paintbrush to have paint on it. I think I did good on the bottom. I'm just going to grab, nope, insane detail is not the one. Sure, detail. Am I going to color the ground gray too? Yeah. Unless you want it to be like earth or something. Hmm. I mean, you could have it with earth. I feel like everyone keeps their bases as gray, so let's, why not make it more complicated and go earthy? That means we need to go up, oh, but you've got like the old bark. Which you could combine with the gray, or you could go darker. Just let me know what color you want. I'm going to choose this white to apply to this stone, just so I'm showing you how. But you got it. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it's easy to do with a smaller brush because then you get to make sure. And these are fantastic brushes. They're all, right now we're using all army painter brushes. The brushes are great. Her sister is mad at me. Hmm. <laughs> She's like, how dare you ruin me and put me in this tub? Will you paint her as pretty as can be? So, if I can get her clean in like a year's time after you've been painting for a year. <laughs> a year's time. <laughs> I don't mean it'll take me that long to get it clean. No. I mean, in a year's time. I was going to say, I didn't think I did that bad of a job. It's going to take a year for her to get better. <laughs> we don't. She doesn't need that long of a recovery. I wasn't that bad. She doesn't need to go for a spa that long. <laughs> I mean, after a year of you painting multiple things, <laughs> You'll be able to try your sister and see what the difference is. Who knows, maybe she will become, this one here will become the ugly sister. <clears throat> My voice just went all weird. Oh my gosh, I think I'm actually still shaky from the stress of throwing that uh, <laughs> thing on camera. <laughs> oh, that was funny. You should have seen how your face looked. I'm going to get, that's the worst part, I'm going to get to see how my face looked <laughs> when I go to edit it. You were just like, oh no, he looks so shocked. And I bet my face turned bright red, either from laughing or from mortification. Or both. It probably and I get, I, get to, I get to find out, I get to play it again and again as I determine the pros and cons of keeping it on there and taking it out. You have to keep it on there. All right, chief. You have oh, gosh. to. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so sad. You're gonna just put it in there. How many times? Like, just count. Brittany can force me to keep this in here. <laughs> just a little montage. You have to keep it in there. You have to keep it in there. <laughs> That's so funny. I've seen all your other painting videos, and you don't have nothing funny like that in there. You've watched all my other painting videos? Not all impressive. of them. <laughs> Just a good, like, few of them. How oh, cool. Did I? Get, did you uh, learn any techniques from them? <laughs> or were they just... <laughs> I, underst Nothing. I understood a bit about the, like, the, the stuff. Okay. Yeah, because you were, I think you were actually reviewing these yeah. brushes at the time of um, me watching them. Because I think that was one of your newer videos. Yep. All right. And... Uh, yeah, so when I watched how you were doing that, basically, and I was like, okay, it's like, so now I have an idea of how, what this does. So when I thought about this and how we were dry brushing, that's why I came up with the fire thing, because it gets all the details in you. Yeah. So I did learn. Good plan. I learned a little. Not much, but a little. <laughs> the not much part is mainly because I can't keep focus. 
Okay. <laughs> Hints of why I was talking about penguins in the rocks earlier. I'm a very interesting character. All right. Um, these rocks have a bit of red, and now I feel like someone died on them. I'm stippling with the dry brush now to make it like a more rocky texture on the more flat surfaces. This is not something that you need to <laughs> repeat because your rocks are going to be so small. But this is a like, there's a bunch of flat surfaces. I need it to be more rocky looking. So, stippling. Haphazardly. Painting rocks. Painting rocks. This day, yeah, we're painting rocks. This is a very interesting way of painting rocks underneath a woman's claw legs. Good thing you aren't real, I repeated. Are you laughing at my technique? No, I was actually contemplating uh, what a harpy would feel like. Or <laughs> <laughs> Moving off into the world of Dungeons and Dragons is what I was, I was just phased out, phased out into D&D. Sounds like my cousin. Hmm. Every time I ask him what he's thinking about, oh, I wish God thought of this idea for my campaign in D&D, he says. I'm like, Very good. <laughs> then he proceeds to go on for the next three hours explaining his thing in D&D. I had never done that. Yet. Oh, my cousin. You you can tell me if something about a campaign for three hours. My cousin has got me immune to it. Hmm. Cousin, if you're ever watching this, I just exposed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I know he's going to be watching this. You think so? Oh, I know so. He said he already described to the channel once I told him. Oh, thanks. I got one more subscriber. You're welcome. I think his girlfriend might have two, so I got you two. Cool. Plus me, so that's three. Oh, awesome. He I guess I, guess I would be feel pretty sad if it's like years down the road. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't ever subscribe. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. I'm only just <laughs> popping up on here, you know, every now and then, just helping you. But I'm not going to subscribe to the channel to support. <laughs> I'm just here for the fun of it. <laughs> Alright, now I'm on. Oh, and I think my friends did, because when I told them about this, so. Cool. Hi to people who are going to know me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, I'm now on to the third-ish layer of, and this is gonna be like barely on there sometimes. Oh, it's pretty... I, I don't know, I'm just making it look like a rock. So, flashing it where it's needed. This... The stuff is underneath, that's underneath the tree is gonna get less than the stuff that's above the tree because of light sourcing. You know, if you were real, I would ask you to move your legs because they are very much <laughs> in the way right, right now. Like, for goodness sake, woman, move your legs. Yes. Gosh, Petunia. Petunia. <laughs> <laughs> yes, her name is Petunia. Uh, I've got an enormous um, iron golem called Steve, so yeah. They rule the world. Don't ask me where the name Petunia came from. I just looked I at her. I think it suits. And thought it'd be funny to name a bird after a flower. Huh. Okay, I thought that was my dog's hair for a second, but it's not. It's just a brush hair. And then I was like, Spinelli, how did you get here? I think I'm actually going to add more white. Make really sharp contrast. Gosh, woman. How's your brush doing? It should be able to go through nice because you may need to have it washed out. One thing you don't want is to the dr the paint to be drying out in your brush. Um. If it feels like it's getting tacky and harder to um, apply, then you're gonna want to brush out, uh, clean up your brush. It's well, not abnormal luckily, to clean up your brush several times. I am done with the painting of the rocks, so the brush can be cleaned now. Anyway. Oh, right. Let's see if you waited too long. Let's see if Brittany's magic skills are magic skills. Slightly. You see the band right 
there in the middle. Mm -hmm. It shows that your your um, paint was, hmm, I guess I should show you guys too. Uh, that band there in the middle of the gray shows that your paint was actually drying in your brush, which you don't actually want to do for layering. I'm good to help show people what not to do. When you think of me, think of what not to do. On the bright side, she now got rocks. So she does. And I've got the two colors that you'll need for dry fishing. However, because of her feet, we probably are not going to use that bigger dry brush that has yellow in it anyway. We're going to use a more refined little dry brush. This little guy. It's called a small dry brush. Wow. You use it basically the same way, but you do have to be more careful because its bristles are not as tough, as um, fine. But don't worry, if you put barely any into your brush, you can do it and you just be gentle and scraped across. Okay, what am I using for her feet? I did not think this through. Don't you want to finish the rock first though? Oh. While the paint <laughs> is still wet. Yeah, I forgot all about the rocks. I might help if I kept it in for y'all. Now I'm gonna get them confused and think I'm from Texas. How are you coming with it? What do you think? Good. I think I'm doing good. I'm doing it very lightly. Now it's looking more like rocks. This is a very interesting technique. Dry brushing this. Ah, uh, yeah. I love it. Oh my. Now it's time to get those flowers white. I'm going to put them white before I put them yellow because the yellow is not going to cover that well. I'm assuming already. Okay. What do you think of my rocks? Nice. Now they need their final flashing of a paler color where you only put it on you know selectively not all over the place but here or there so what, what should i put on should i use a whiter color yeah you grab that white and mix it into your brush so it's a little bit more gray from your other pieces and that, so that there's barely anything on your brush Yep, good. And now you just splay it over, you know, the high, higher parts of a rock. Kind of make it just look rocky. Or you could go to town because it's so small. The rocks are so small that you could go to town with it too. Speckle. Speckle. Oh, I speckled. You can speckle after you're done that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rex, be rocky. I've got lots of these guys. You can speckle. I like speckling. I've never done it, but I'm gonna say I like it. I'm. I guess this would kind of be stippling, but it's not stippling. It's more like speckling. Woman, your legs are in the way again. Gosh. You're worse than a three-year-old being in the way. Yeah. And you want to slowly spin her around? You spin. Can't sing that either. Do, 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 do. Is that where you're going? <laughs> yep. Looking good. Now we just gotta turn that random log into a log. I still laugh every time I see. <laughs> okay, am I using the same brush for that? Um, yeah, you can. Yep, that'd probably be a good one. Same sort of thing. You're gonna layer on it because you probably don't want it red. Though you're gonna probably want to layer on the dark 
first because that's going to be all the shadows and then the lighter one is going to be all right so should i paint it on yep with paint this? it on okay so layer it on use the same brush you used last time uh or... yep you can uh but this one actually works fine as a as a paintbrush too as a paintbrush too all right yellow yellow here yeah. you go thank you you're welcome i split your yellow Bum 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 <laughs> Flowers Oh Flowers Flowers This yellow is not the right color Hmm. Steal. Steal. Oh, you're stealing my colors? That's okay. You can steal my colors. Thanks. No. It's probably better than letting you shake a bottle again. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I will never let it down. You'll learn that I won't let things down that I find are hilarious. How do I get you to forget that? All right, I'll do something just... even funnier. Oh, great! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend told me something funny. I still message her every now and then with a little funny thing to do with it. So, good luck at trying to get me forget. <laughs> and we have been friends for very many years now. Ah, I can't even come back with the yeah. Well, you caused your your miniature to be looked like it was drowning in red because you're <laughs> brand new to it and you're yeah. still allowed to make those kinds of mistakes. Yeah, haha. -ha. <laughs> you got nothing on me. Wait, I gotta, gotta find something. <laughs> There's time. <laughs> there is time. But this time, <laughs> you got nothing <laughs> on me. Just wait a little bit. Future me will look back on this video and be like, oh honey, you are sorely mistaken. <laughs> Oh, now. That makes me kind of want you to join Dungeons and Dragons campaigns because if there's sure one place that someone is gonna mess up royally, it's Dungeons and Dragons. Huh. Maybe I should enjoy now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just send my friends in for you. Sacrificial lambs. Yeah, you know. The, the, technically, they volunteered, so <laughs> is it really sacrificing them? I think it still is. Because they don't know what's got in store for them. Haha. <laughs> That's even funnier. <laughs> Send in my friends. <laughs> Send in my lambs. Here we go. Trying to hide the most red as possible. And you probably can't even see. Oh, still, uh, still that. I'm just stealing it all. Mm -hmm. Poor Petunia. How's that covering? Eh, not too well. Not too well at all. I'm trying to do like a few layers on it and stuff, mm. and kind of like dab it on and not brush it. Well, thankfully, the um, the crevices are where they have to be, and the outside parts is all going to be covered up by that Steel Legion drab, which I'm pretty certain is a, a really good covering paint. So as long as you get the crevices that darker brown, and hey, if it's only the crevices that is kind of reddish brown, you could probably still work. Or, <clears throat> you know, we could just find a better paint that covers. I think it would probably still work too. Flowers. Flowers. Time to go into white. The crevices are definitely going to be the darker brown, that's for sure. And the technique I'm using here is um, just make it, just keep dabbing at it until you, you make <laughs> it look like it's a flower. That's, that's, that's my plan. Make it look like a flower. At least her feet are wide enough apart that I can get 
up here with my brush. I think I'll add more white around the edges. More white around the edges. Since it should be more transparent around the edges. So because she's partly human, does she eat human food or bird seed? Um, definitely doesn't eat bird seed. More like eats humans. Hmm, I hope she picks someone that just had cheeseburger. What, you think she needs to gain weight or something? I don't no, know where you're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> cheeseburgers are just really, really yummy. So if she picks someone to say the cheeseburger, she get to experience how yummy a cheeseburger is. Oh, I get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. Am I using the dry brush now? Um, for what? Oh yeah, for the, for the, yeah. This guy comes to me. The log. <laughs> Tree. <laughs> the bird. Perch. You said, <laughs> <laughs> you said log and it didn't help my situation with that thing. <laughs> with the perch. The, the perch. Um, and let me, we just want to make certain it's, dry. Yeah, it's not really dry enough to do, use a dry brush over it. Okay. Because it, the, it'll just pick up the wet and you know, it just won't work. You need to wait for it to dry a bit longer. Just a bit longer. Um, you shouldn't be able to see that it has glossiness to it. Unless it's a glossy paint, of course, and then you just have to wait and think. I guess it's dry now. Poke it. So we want to wait a little bit longer, but in the meantime, I guess you could do the uh, the red right there okay in whatever color you want um you could cover it with the same brown and then we could put a wash over top of it and that would darken it down and also make it like slightly uneven in color yeah i was gonna mix this slightly in with it so i need some air brush because i'm assuming i wouldn't dry brush that i don't nope. paint it you would use this guy. I love this guy. And here's your removal of Thank paint you. brush. Time for me to grab the green, I guess. I'm going to go with mutation green. Seems alright color it for- seems a very fitting color for an alien tree. Mm. At least in my opinion. Yep, I'm gonna go with it. And if it's too bright green, oh wait, no, that's gonna be my second color. All right, Cayman green. <laughs> uh, maybe a mix. That's a pretty green. This might be too light colored. Hey, hey. Oh, I think it might be stuck. Might have a clump. From having not used this paint in too long. I guess that's the downside of owning a lot of paints. Mm hmm. You need to give them all love for them all to be happy. Mm. At least you'll always know what your favorite paints are. Toothpicks are handy, handy tools for a painter. I have a random things of toothpicks in every spot in my house. Just about every room, there's a thing of toothpicks. Every room? Yep. Wow. My bedroom is where my gut goes to, and I use it to mix his food, so. Hmm. In other class, you just never know. You're going to need a tiny thing to poke something through. Because it's, well, it seems to be true for me. On the other hand, it's, it's really just this room. I have weird things in different rooms. I don't really have, like, a living room. It's just an everything room. Every room is an everything room. I'm a strange specimen. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, thank you. I heard we have cookies. <laughs> uh, Mini, mini, money, mo. There's some. There's a brush that I haven't used yet. This is Squidmar medium brush. Squidmar is um, Squidmar Miniatures is another YouTuber, really great painter, and he gave me. His brand new brushes to try out. I haven't oh. used the medium one yet, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Well, 
I get to see it in the action this time. Just want to be careful. Probably shouldn't be using his brush to mix paint. But I'm doing it anyway. Hello, there's a dung. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Yes, I think so. I think this is the right color. It's going to get darker and it's going to be less opaque, I think, when it dries, which is actually okay because I dry brushed two different colors onto these. Um, it'll create the two different colors just by putting only one layer of the green over it. I like the color green. Yeah, I but thought it would be nice. I think it's a very pretty color. I thought it would be a nice contrast from all the brown. Um, Cayman green and mutation green. Alligators and mutations. Caymans and mutations? I guess they're not alligators. Unless they're mutated alligators. I guess mine are. Mutated how? Do hmm. they have extra legs, extra tails? What would be the most terrifying mutated mutation on an alligator that you could possibly think of? Wings? A flying alligator would definitely do. Maybe a flying, like, three-headed alligator. Oh my goodness. I would hate to run into that. Let me just think of the stats for the next Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> campaign. <laughs> you guys are going to have to run into a three-headed flying alligator. Thank, uh, thank Brittany for the idea. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Good luck trying to fight him. He likes to eat heads. Three at a time. It could be even a zombie, so it would go straight for the heads, for the brains. Really? We're gonna add? So we, we're just we're gonna <laughs> add to this mutated filet flying three uh, three headed alligator the fact that he's a zombie and goes for the brains. Yeah. Why not? Make it more difficult. I mean, it's certainly more likely than a mutation is that he's like an abomination, um, and they don't live very long, so. Well, how else would you get a three-headed alligator if it wasn't mutated from some sort of chemicals in the water? Mm. That's what I think. I imagine if there was a lich who was successfully able to kill a three-headed winged alligator, he would totally turn it into a zombie to use for his bidding. Mm. Just makes sense. It would make sense. It's logical. I feel like if he turns into a zombie, he'd be able to keep those alligators as pets. So when he has his own castle, he can send them out and no one can get in. So if he ever finds anything good that he wants to keep that no one else can steal, the alligator's got his back. You know, like in Harry Potter, like the three-headed dog? Yep. Uh, uh, Cerberus. Oh, yeah. Fluffy. <laughs> yes, Fluffy. You know, that's what the alligators would be like. They'll be like fluffy. They guard the, the underground area where he keeps the treasure. You know what? Even the most the most senior of Dungeons and Dragons players would not expect a three headed flying zombie alligator. Haha, <laughs> 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 you thought you were prepared. Take that. They just have yet to meet somebody with such great brain. <laughs> they need to find somebody that their brains don't stop at their first thought. They have to go at least three to four thoughts in before it's completely done and ready to go. Ready to fight. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Depriving them of my horrible painting skills of this ground. You're doing just fine. I don't see it on her feet, and I don't see it on the tree, and <laughs> I'm well, I hope you wouldn't see it on a tree. I don't have the tree. <laughs> I got it on Rocks. 
I put it on a tree. I think I'd be painting your figurine, and then I wouldn't imagine you'd be so happy. <clears throat> wow, I don't know why my wishes did the. You. These four rocks probably need another thing. You know what? No, that's going to be the blood of the mouse she ate. That's right, she eats mouse. Don't want to miss right next to the rocks. I can see red really close to the rocks. And, uh, and hey, rocks are probably jutting out of the ground, so... Makes sense if the bottoms of them are brown. That's true. I don't think logically. I think weirdly. I think I need to let it dry. I think I need to put this in the water, please. Mm hmm Thank you. Sorry for biting your paintbrush. It's good, my answers. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think he can see it, but he can see it. He totally could see it. I mean, he's he's probably pretty busy, but... He might. He might I see was it. talking about the fact that the camera was up there. I forgot the camera was up there. That's right. He can see it. Don't forget the cameras are there. Uh, for a moment, I was wondering which one I'm doing. You need that one back? Nope, nope not my squidward. I was this like, one, yeah. I was looking at it, I was like, this is not the right brush. And see how much I've painted? Now I'm going to clean it out again. I do not want any paint to dry in it. So it's a good thing I got you to clean up my paint. Brush. My paint. I got you to clean out my paint. Yeah, when you're, when you're not doing dry brushing. You don't want your paint to dry in it. Always has to be moist. And it will go on top of the lighter brown. Nice. And don't have to worry, for realism, you don't have to worry about getting the lighter brown really close to the rocks because the rocks are going to cast a shadow on that. And so is the lady. So not having it completely covered works for realism. Okay. Let's try to keep that in mind. At least I can do my doo 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 doos. I'm in focus mode. Bum bum ba dum bum 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 that's not what I'm doing though. I was just say painting these brushes. That's what I'm doing. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun, but this is a funny dun, looking brush, as you ask me. But okay, we'll go with that. It's hard to think up lyrics on the spot. You're forgiven. You'll also want to paint, but you can do that after with the dark brown, I imagine, all around the edge. I started doing it right there. Oh, cool. This one does not have a base. I don't have to worry about it. On the other hand, it means I have nothing to hold on to except for the miniature itself. Thankfully, it's large enough that one part dries before I need to grab hold of it to paint the other part. Yeah. On the bright side, you wouldn't... that would be a good thing. Because I was just thinking about how if this is slightly in the way of painting around here, then I'm going to end up having to get my fingers wet. Oh, that's why I'm thinking that you don't have to worry about this part yet until everything else is done and you can take it off. Mm, so I can hold it upside down. That's right. Smarticle particle. It's the final touch thing. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm done. Paint around the face. She is going to be a very beautiful firebird. When the like, explosion happens, she's just going to come out like, whew. That was me. <laughs> Maybe with a mouse. I just imagine, like, you know how they always have those wonderful scenes, and now it's like a parody, uh, with scenes where something is blowing up in the background and you're just, they're just walking towards this, the, the camera, looking all <laughs> cool-like. That's, that's what I suddenly imagined her doing. That's what I was hoping to. That's what I was imagining to when I said it. I need to paintbrush back. <laughs> 
Bam, 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 bam. Up on the rooftop, stuck in your head. Yep. But, oh, wait, no, can't do that one. Sesame Street wouldn't be happy. I was gonna get it out of your head, but. Nope, I have to have other public domain <laughs> songs in your head. I uh, don't know any public domain songs that are. Bum, 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 ba dum, bum, 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 ba dum, bum, 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 ba dum, bum. Um, I don't um, know. You don't know that one? I do know that one, but I don't. I don't know how it's like the lyrics to go for it. The tunes I can do. The lyrics. You probably know maybe the. I mean, maybe the chorus. Do 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 do. Not unless I have the actual song itself playing. Hmm. For some reason, it just just that quick. Alas, my love, ye do me wrong to cast me out, discourage justly, for I, I do know Jingle Bells see well. <laughs> Is Jingle was Jingle Bells one of the public domain ones? It was, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Jingle Bell Rock was not. Oh, I know. That's the fun one. That's the one you could dance to. What do you think? Ah, oh, she's gorgeous. I think the next step is finishing her final touches. I think the next step, because if you were going to finish her final touches, I think you want to get, if you were going to go with uh, dry brushing on this, you might want to get that done before you take out yes. her colors. So if you, have, if you have to fix her because you've got something on her bum, then you could do that. That thing is not in such a great place. <laughs> the questionable location of her perch. Her perch. As they call it. Whoever could create it this figurine, I have questions for you. I'm wondering if they created her first and I was like, well, where in the world? Guys, you gotta get it done. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would be one of the questions. If you're out there and you come across this video somehow, we have questions. <laughs> Serious questions. I think I made a nice little weird dark piles and it looks nice. I think so too. Now, time for the highlight of those guys. What are you what's your next task? Dry brushing her perch thing. Mm. Don't like calling it a perch, I call it a stick. Or as you called it a log. A log is a better thing, because this looks more like a log. Well, a perch is anything she happens to I guess stand so. on. <laughs> but when I think of a perch, I think of like a like a tea shaped perch. Like you know the things that you have a pet bird on? That they just sit there and like Yeah, but she's so heavy that that would probably not work for But her. if you use the thickness that this one's already is. In a tea shape. Hmm. They just got that close it. to the ground. Hmm. Maybe it's better that's coming from your butt. Ah <laughs> uh, yes. Now I'm going to try livery. Livery. So, I've only ever read this word. Livery Which green. Which dry brush should I use? Which dry brush should you? Um, the little one that you've been using for all the layering. Remember, that's actually a dry brush. That one's oh, Yeah, the one that I have over here. That's all right. This, uh, the bristles on this guy um, can be dried really quickly. Okay. Okay, I am done with the crayon. Pretty. Yes. Now she has a ground to stand on <laughs> when she lands. So, I don't know what I'm going to do now. Her eyes? Do you oh. dare to do her eyes? I do dare to do her eyes, but she's going to be faced like this. Mm-hmm. Because I will get a better air. Well, I guess I should face her technically like this. That's an air one, right? Yeah. That's a good one for eyes. Air is more fluid and therefore won't dry on your brush quite so quickly. Which is a pain for tiny, tiny little things. Um, if need be, we may even use a 
um, a retarder, which will slow down how quickly your paint dries for tiny little details. It's a pain if your paint dries before you're done. Come in. Oh, okay. You did not come out of the hole I thought you were going to come out of. That, I put too much on my thing. I am sorry. It's all right. I am going to give this to you to clean. Where, where's my, where's my dude? Oh, well, there's my razor, uh, or um, my knife. I was looking for that. Uh, where's my dude? Right. I was about to help you, but uh, I don't know what you're looking for. I was looking for my favorite um, brush. But the brush? I don't see it. So we're gonna just go with another Squidmar. This one's going to be size extra small. Extra small Squidmar. And you're going to be the first one to try it out. I feel so special! Mm -hmm. Well, sir. Thank you for letting me try out your brush. Oh my goodness, I forgot to hand it to you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you got me back. I think it was off camera, so only I know that you have a big blue splotch onto your hand. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing things right here. What well, not to do. With Brittany and Naomi. <laughs> My hand is not the steadiest, so she looks like her eye is a bit fall out. <laughs> it's alright, you've got all the colors that you can, uh, that you need to fix her. It's fine. Good thing I'm not a surgeon. <laughs> you the... are today! You're giving her eyes. Oh. <laughs> oh, honey, you're going to be blind. <laughs> well, you're going to be blind, or you're going to come out with who dies. That looks kind of freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Can it show me off? Oh. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be seeing it at the same time that they will be seeing it. Let's just have a look at this. <laughs> oh, my goodness, she's in shock. <laughs> she's freaky. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, my gosh. I think this brush did a very good job. I like it. I like it. I have a very unsteady hand and it did a very good job for someone who's very unsteady hand-wise. I think. I think she's lovely. <laughs> and that, that blue really pops. It, it that. popped a lot more than I was expecting <laughs> it to pop. And I was like, ooh, good thing I'm not a real surgeon because you... Mm. You can see now! <laughs> yeah, you can see now! I kind of made her from going smoking to like <laughs> de downgrading her to a five. <laughs> I am so sorry, honey. Good thing I'm not a good plastic surgeon. What do you think I should do now? Well, um, is there any. It's, it all depends on you. Are you happy with her? Do you want to keep going? And is there anything, any details that you think, ah, oh, you know, I think I want to pop this detail out more? It's kind of up to you, right? I think. What are you wondering? I think I'm going to just add a bit more orange on the inside of that leg. That's what I think I'm going to do. And I know you told me to put it in the there, but I only need the tiniest bit of orange. So yeah, it's fine. Really there are some exceptions in there to every rule. Other than cleaning out your brushes, there's, there's never an exception to that. Unless you feel like turning them into something other than a brush. Well, what else would you turn them into? Po pointy sticks? Um, could work as a popsicle stick after that. Not certain what else they'd be I good I wouldn't want to eat that popsicle. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking a popsicle stick for... For crafting? Oh. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, that would be very strong. You can when make a I nice popsicle. When I think popsicle stick, I think crafting, but it's true that the normal non gamer would probably, uh, or non um, crafter would probably not think of popsicle sticks. I'm just very food motivated, like a dog. 
So first that pops into my head with anything that could even slightly resemble food is food. Excellent. That well, that will help me when I'm trying to do a try trying to do an analogy that you would they would catch on to. Be mm. like, so because the... like how I told people that like I don't know how to frame it like like when you wrap up dogs into burritos and people are like what do you mean burritos <laughs> <laughs> when they don't know what a burrito is <laughs> yes or you could say wrap or there's so many things you can wrap things up in and use them as food wise you can even say a taco we could make something into a taco and people are like a taco yes like my bed i say this is a taco sometimes sometimes i get in bed I'll just be like, yeah, I'm in my taco. I have never associated food with sleeping. <laughs> New things happening today. When you go to bed tonight, you shall think of a taco. I hope. Hmm. I may start wondering, well, how exactly do I wrap myself in it? I'm more like a sandwich. See, there you go. You're getting <laughs> there. Sandwich. I am like a broken open burrito. Do you remember how I said that I've only actually eaten a burrito <laughs> once in my life? It's like, open up burrito. Well, you Do you mean like an open taco? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like the top part of me is all like wrapped up like the burrito would be, but then like my leg will be sticking it from the bottom. And it's almost like the, like the end of the burrito where it's usually tucked in. It has a little hole and then like the beans come out. I like it's the beans coming out of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine it. <laughs> it would probably work a lot better if you like if, if you I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, you don't have the same brain type of thing as I have going on in my head. Like, when I get, like, like a burst of energy, my brain doesn't make sense. It's just one thing to another thing. That's I don't think nice. I get bursts of energy. I'm probably always at my same amount of... Wait, no, that's not true. Mm -mm. Mm, I don't get big bursts of energy. I'm... What's life like? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'm generally at the same amount of energy all the time. No, that can't be right. <laughs> There's no way anyone's the same amount of energy all the time. I, like... I think I am too tired right now to think about <laughs> the fact that I'm... <laughs> that's, the, that's the other thing. When I get really tired, I get really silly. Oh no, we're in trouble. Because <laughs> so do I. Hence on the food analogies. And if it's mm -hmm. not that, then I make food dance. Yep, this is this is late in the night for me, so I'm like, I'm listening to you. I swear, it's not making sense, but now I'm starting <laughs> to think it's not. <laughs> I think I'm getting I think there. I'm finished. You think you're finished? Well, then I will basically say what I have to finish after that. I just need to turn these because I'm I'm not going to go any further. You're done. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, I I'm going to turn these a different color with some more dry brushing. I'm gonna add the red to here and then I'm going to put gloss over it so it really pops the fact that they're spiky bits. I'm going to add some sort of bright lovely metallic over this white. I added white so that it would pop even more um, and it seemed like a good idea at the time and I might brighten this up to be a bit more yellow around the edges but I don't know I think I like it as it is. What do you think of it? I like it. I think if she wasn't stuck to her perch, she would use that as a perch. It would perch. be much easier, right? This is stone, so she'd be able to get up there and it would be... She wouldn't have to land on a log in an uncomfortable fashion. I mean, that's gotta hurt. On the way down, <laughs> she should pull in that right. <laughs> Alright. I think it's officially time that we get sleep. <laughs> I think oh, that's that right. definitely, definitely got to hurt. Okay, now it's time for you to turn I... it over and finish up the edge. 
Oh, that That's doesn't right. matter. The bottom doesn't matter. Okay. I need to brush. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Use dish filler. Dana, 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 One sec, it's probably gonna need two coats. It's fine. Yeah. We'll just go with the one coat right now. I was I don't even know they were seeing that. <laughs> oh yeah, they're seeing okay. it. Okay. I made certain you can't have the last part of your miniature off screen. Sacrilege. I was trying to apparently. Without thinking about it. That's enough. It looks like it's trying to come off now, it does. so you wanna wait for that to I was dry. trying to fix it. No filling. You have to wait for it to dry between. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining with me. <laughs> Here's my first miniature. I'm very proud of Petunia. I shall put her down before I get... Oh, too, they got me my hands. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Petunia. She has a very uncomfortable life. She is a firebird. She likes to eat mouse. She has blue eyes. Mainly because her eye surgeon messed up. I made them a little too bright but they give her very good night vision. And if you've ever seen Explosion, it's probably her getting mad that somebody stole her food. Thank you very much, guys. Until next time.